So right off the bat, apologies in advance for those of you that have been paying attention to me on social media. Uh, I did say that there was going to be a video about Battlefield 5's controversy today. Uh, because of this video, and because I really wanted to get this off my chest now, and throw it out there while it's still fresh in everybody's mind, uh, Battlefield 5's video will be tomorrow instead of today. So, um, basically this video comes from just me coming back from the bar last night, you know, after watching the, the Golden Knights-Washington Capitals game, and enjoying the hell out of that. And then, of course, naturally finding out that, oh... We're going to have the same goddamn final again in, in the NBA. I'm a sports guy too. I'm a nerd of many things. Like I'm, a, I, I'm Normally on this channel, it's a lot of gaming and anime. I also have a huge love of pro wrestling and sports as well. And I got to tell you, I have had no interest in basketball probably in the last three years, which is crazy considering that the last three years has been the best basketball that I've ever had here in Canada. You know, the Raptors have never been this good. And yet I still do not give a shit about basketball right now. Because I'm so sick and tired of the same two teams getting in and duking it out. I don't give a damn whether anybody thinks this is good for the game or not. I mean, try to explain to me how no one else getting a chance at making the finals... No one getting a shot at winning that trophy in the last three years. Explain to me what is so good about that. I would love to know how this is such amazing business for the, for the NBA. Sure, it's amazing business if you're the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers, but if you're the other fucking, what is it, 28 teams in the league, how does that benefit you? I'm pretty sure... That for a lot of fans, they checked out even when the playoffs started because they're like, well, my team's not going to fucking win. It's going to be Golden State or Cleveland. Who gives a shit? The only two that really had a shot was Houston and Toronto. And it turns out Boston actually was a hell of a lot better than I think a lot of people were thinking they'd be. And that ended up being something. So, who watches this final? I, I'm really curious who that is not a fan of those two teams who watches that final? Who watches it for the third fucking time in a row? Who watches it? Why? Why do you watch it? I don't care that, you know, it's it's the NBA Finals. Like, I, if the Stanley Cup Final was Pittsburgh-Chicago three years in a row, why the fuck would I watch it? In fact, I probably wouldn't even watch it the second time. I'm the kind of guy that's... 100% against dynasties. This is why I like the NHL. Because the NHL's cap makes it so that it's very easy to lose your spot. Because it's very hard to keep the players that you have within a fixed salary. So naturally, it's very hard for teams to be able to keep the same lineups that normally could you know, get a Stanley Cup final berth every year. You're not going to see what we saw with the Detroit Red Wings way back in the day. You're not going to see stuff like the Montreal Canadiens, you know, winning the cup all the time. You're not going to see stuff like the Edmonton Oilers or the New York Islanders. You're not going to see that anymore. You got pretty damn close with Pittsburgh this in the last couple of years. But even then, like, it's really hard to do that. And it's not like Pittsburgh got the same opponent, those two Stanley Cup finals that they've won in, in, in a row. You know, they had San Jose in one, and I can't for the life of me remember what it was in the other. That's just how much I was not paying attention because I just... I'm already not a fan of Pittsburgh to begin with, honestly, so there's there's that. Um, but you tell me how this Golden Knights-Capitals final is an amazing for, for hockey. It's two teams that have never had a Stanley Cup final, as far as I know, because I don't think Washington's even been in the final either. It's two brand new teams, two great stories... It's great for the game. That is great for the game. And it's after the first game, fuck, that's exciting hockey. That's what I want to see. In basketball right now, they have this fucking problem where the NBA is just letting teams, you know, hoard stars and just go on that. So, you know, who's going to be next? It's wherever LeBron goes, right? Until LeBron retires, this shit's not going to stop. And I'm not even convinced that it's going to stop when LeBron retires. So it's at the point right now where, honestly... I don't give a shit about basketball, period. I, I have no interest in watching the game anymore. 
You know, it, it's like, what's the point? You know that the, unless your team is, is the star hoarding team, you're not really getting that far, are you? Toronto had a great chance because they were an all-around. They had the best bench in basketball, and it turns out when the playoffs happen, they don't fucking show up. So that didn't matter. So who won? The team with all the stars. Like they always fucking do now. Why the hell would I care? My team doesn't have stars. My team has great players, but they don't have stars. If I'm any other team in the league, I don't have a star, why would I care about basketball this year? There's no point. This league doesn't leave room for Cinderella stories anymore. You're not going to see what we saw with teams like, say, the Phoenix Suns, who did really well. You're not going to see teams like... Um, shit, I'm trying to think of anything else. I mean, it's it's always been a league that's kind of had those dynasty teams still. And that's what happens when you have a, a, you know, a league that doesn't have the same kind of level of salary capping that, you know, the NHL say does. I mean, obviously we had like the Laker dynasties. You had Miami before LeBron went to Cleveland. You got what Golden State's doing now. I mean, it's it's kind of always been like that and it's kind of irritating. I mean, the Spurs as well. It's it's always been troublesome. And then it's just getting worse and worse as this league continues to downward spiral into just letting teams do whatever the fuck they want, letting players just do whatever they want. They're letting the inmates kind of run the asylum in the way that you know, they're just getting a bunch of the best players together and trying to make like a faux, like a like a sort of semi-all-star team. And I don't understand how that's great for the league. In the same vein that, who cares about Olympic basketball? Because it's basically the states. You know? At least in hockey, and people will say, well, in hockey, Canada wins all the time. I'm like, yeah, but... Is, is Canada really overwhelmingly better than all the other teams? Because as far as I see it, Canada at any point can lose to the U.S., Russia, Sweden, even Finland now. It's very possible. And a lot of, a lot of players in the NHL, for example, just because they're Canadian doesn't mean they're, they're, they're the biggest stars. Like, sure... We tend to have the better players, but at the end of the day, a lot of the a lot of the superstar, like we're talking some of the best guys in the game, are not from Canada. You're seeing guys right now where you're seeing, especially the Swedes and Finns, really, really getting a lot of great talent. You still got Russia who has Alex Ovechkin, arguably the best player in the league as far as I'm concerned. So it's easier than that, but with the states in basketball, it's it's a whole different story. They basically have like ninety percent of the stars in the league. So you I mean anybody being the states in one game is an upset, is a colossal upset. So I don't I don't know. It's just frustrating. Like I want to like basketball, I really do, but it's impossible to do that when there's no mystery to who's going to make it. I don't. Th- I don't think anybody really bet that anybody else is going to make that playoff. Even with Cleveland as weak as they looked, you still don't bet against LeBron. It's like LeBron has a switch that it's like, okay, this is my I'm not going to try, you know, game. And then all of a sudden he flips the switch. Oh, yeah, now I'm going to try and you're not going to have a fucking chance of winning. It's so frustrating to watch. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you LeBron's not arguably the greatest player of all time in, in basketball. But fuck is it hard to want to watch him and not being like, dude, just fucking stop. Go away. Go away. I'm tired of seeing you. And that's kind of how I am with it. Same with Golden State. I mean, Golden State's not pissing me off the level that LeBron does. But, I mean, it's still like, I don't care about you anymore. You've won. You've had your championships. Go the fuck away. And people have told me before, oh, well, because I'm a big hockey guy. Oh, if the Maple Leafs, if they won cups three in a row, you wouldn't give a shit. I'm like, actually, yeah, I'd probably be pretty bored after the second. And, and I've already seen it with TFC in the MLS where they won their championship and I'm not even paying attention to what they're doing now. They won. They've won their championship. I've got the championship in my memory now and I'm good. I don't need them to go fucking crazy and have the best season ever again and go and win it again. I don't need that anymore. I've got the, the chase is over. If the Leafs won the cup, 
I probably wouldn't pay that much attention to them the following season. Now, if the playoffs come around and they're, say, in the second round or the third round, I'm definitely paying attention again. And if they win the cup, cool. By the third time, I don't, I don't honestly don't care. You know, even as a pro wrestling fan, for example, you know, I like it when my guy wins the championship, but six months later, it's not really that interesting anymore. Like, I'm a big AJ Styles guy, and at this point, I'm like, yeah, maybe it's time somebody else gets the belt. I've always been in the sense that the chase is better than, than the, um, than the rain. And for me, it's like, I, I feel like it's really hard to be a Golden State fan or a Cleveland fan and be like over the moon excited that you're having another final. Cause I think at that point it's like, fuck, like you haven't gotten over the last couple ones. I mean, the only thing for Cleveland is they're like, well, we haven't won. You know, we got to We got to avenge that loss. It's like, I don't know, man. It, it may just be me, because maybe maybe I'm not the hardcore fan. Maybe that's just it. But, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I don't understand the idea of being super excited over your third straight final, because you're not chasing anymore. You're just there. 